Today's video is going to be Weihardt style, classical test theory. Boom. Classical test theory is used to make sure that the questions you're asking are actually measuring what you're interested in finding out. The observed score equals the true score plus error. True scores and error are kind of like unicorns. You know they exist, but you can't actually see them. True scores and error are also imaginary in the sense that the idea for this video is imaginary. It's imaginary until I write it down, until you materialize. It can still be real like unicorns, but it isn't physically real. <laughs> error is equal to zero. That means the error is completely random. This means that if you ask the right questions, the only reason an incorrect score would be presented is by chance. Your raw score is in the perceptual plane, which means that this is an observed behavior. Then there's error, which is the glasses or the lens with which you see the world. It's your stunner shades and how they distort your vision. Then in the observed score, there are constructs, which are the meaning behind the behavior. So in the perceptual plane, we have a chair and the person is resting on the chair. And so our observation is that chairs are for sitting. Now, chairs aren't necessarily for sitting. They could be used for other things like hats, but in this case, they're used for sitting. Also, if there's a thumbs down, that may mean that someone disliked your video and it might suck, but it could also mean something else. This is only what we perceive it to be. I know this is a lot to take in. Here, have a comforting thought. Comforting. I'm not in there with you. I don't know what's going on inside your head unless you tell me. The only thing I can do is take you at your word. What it means is, okay, I understand that we're using words to express our feelings and sometimes they mess up and we mess up. Basically what I'm saying is, I understand that I don't understand. Silence! Aw, oh, Vince!